I want to show you something here. You see these old raccoon tracks and some little deer tracks. But up here on the bank, I've just started uh, detecting, I haven't heard anything good yet, but look at all these oyster shells. If you look, you can see the bank goes around and uh, these oyster shells are buried and you can see bits of charcoal and stuff in there. So they had this dug out for a reason, either a fire pit or there's something here. You can see the soil is dark here and then kind of changes in just into the normal color and then there's clay. And if you look, you can see there's like a V right there. That's the hole that they dug. And they filled in with oyster shells and charcoal. So it was a fire pit. Maybe they cooked their oysters in there or something. I don't know if this is colonial or Indian. It could be either. But here's a piece of, uh, that's a piece of bone right there. So I don't think it's human, but uh, it's probably some type of critter. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, so this is a pit that they dug. That's how you can tell. You can see the V right there. You can see it comes down to there, comes down to there. I'm going to run the metal detector over real quick, see if there's any, uh, there's something here. See if there's any iron in it. Uh, that's Indian pottery right there, I believe. Is that curvature to it? That might be an Indian feature. Got a signal right here. It's actually the first one that sounds decent. It's cool, man. It has something to do with that fire pit over there. I can't really see it really well yet, but I think it's going to be a nice one. Not simple. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Dude, this is the best one I've ever, ever found. I mean, that wasn't the signal we're hearing. Get ready for the crocodile tears. <laughs> There's a signal there, but this isn't what I heard. It just happened to be there. I'm not sure it's the only one either because it was crunching off to the side. Hey. Right, my turn. Not a play. I told him it had something to do with that fire pit that the Indians made. Ah. Uh, oh, he's crying. You ready? Yeah. Holy moly! That's amazing, isn't it? Look at that thing. I just turned that up with the shovel. I heard a crunch. I, I, don't, I don't know if I hit this one or maybe there's a pile of them down there. <laughs> pretty amazing, isn't it? Jeez. Incredible. That was, that was pretty amazing, but those things happen, you know, just never know. Uh, tide's coming in. It's actually up to the hole already, so we've got to move quick. This is the hole it came out of. Now, I heard a crunch with the shovel that I don't don't know if it was that one I actually found. So I'm just going to reach down here and feel around. Let's see what else is down there. That's probably what I hit right here. That's probably what gave me the signal. I don't know if that's lead. It's really heavy, so... Yeah, that's what actually gave me the signal. I think it's lead. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Look how fast it's coming in. My machine was completely dry just a couple minutes ago. I'm gonna feel around with my hands just a little bit more. See if there's anything else in there. Any other points? Nope, that was it. One piece of lead. And I think a shell. Yep. Uh, look, my boot's almost underwater. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek.